Hi friends, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about demultiplexer in combinational circuits of digital logic design course, switching theory and logic design course and digital electronics course. We already know that the examples for combinational circuits are decoder, encoder, multiplexer and demultiplexer. These four are called as combinational circuits. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about what is a decoder, how they can be implemented, what is encoder, how they can be implemented, what is multiplexer and how they are implemented. If anybody wants, please refer the previous videos in the playlist. First of all, we know the differences between multiplexer and demultiplexer by considering these three factors. First one is inputs, second one is outputs and third one is selection inputs. In the case of multiplexer, the number of inputs is equal to 2 power n. The number of outputs in multiplexer is only 1. The number of selection inputs required in multiplexer is n selection lines. Next, in the case of demultiplexer, the number of inputs is only 1. The number of outputs in D multiplexer is 2 power n. Number of selection inputs required in D multiplexer is n. Now, we can go for the definition of multiplexer. A multiplexer is a combinational circuit that can take 2 power n number of inputs and produce only one output. Among the 2 power n number of inputs, we can select only one input. Whatever the input is selected, that input can be sent as the output by using n number of selection lines. Okay. Here, we are using n number of selection lines by using that n number of selection lines, we are selecting only one input. That input is connected to the output. Next, whereas in the case of demultiplexer, demultiplexer is a combinational circuit that can take only one input and it produces 2 power n number of outputs. Among the 2 power n number of outputs, it can select only one output. Whatever the output that is selected, input is connected to that output. Okay. Now, observing this two point, first two points, multiplexer can take 2 power n number of inputs and it produces only one output. Observe the demultiplexer. Demultiplexer can take one input and produce 2 power n number of outputs. By observing these two points, we can say that demultiplexer is the reverse operation of the multiplexer. Okay, now this is the block diagram of demultiplexer. A demultiplexer is a combinational circuit that can take only one input and it produces 2 power n number of outputs. Here, we are using n number of selection lines. So, by using this n number of selection lines, we can select only one output. Whatever the output is selected, the input is connected to that output. Okay, here, among the 2 power n number of outputs, to select only one output, 
we have to use n number of selection lines. Okay, whatever the output that is selected, the single input i is connected to that output. Okay, so this is the simple block diagram of deep multiplexer. Whatever the operation that is explained up to now, that is working when the enable input E value is equal to 1. If E value is equal to 1, the demultiplexer can perform the operation. If enable input E value is equal to 0, the demultiplexer does not perform its operation. Okay. Now, we can go for the definition. Demultiplexer is a combinational circuit that performs the reverse operation of the multiplexer. How it performs the reverse operation of the multiplexer by using this point. Okay. A multiplexer can take 2 power n number of inputs and it produces only one output. Whereas in the case of demultiplexer, demultiplexer can take one input and produce 2 power n number of outputs. Okay. By observing these two points, we can say that demultiplexer performs the reverse operation of the multiplexer. Next one. A demultiplexer can take only single input and it produces 2 power n number of outputs and n number of selection lines. By using that n number of selection lines, we are selecting only one output among the 2 power n number of outputs. Whatever the output that is selected by the n number of selection lines, the input line is connected to that output line. Okay. Demultiplexer is also called as Dmux. Now, what are the applications of Dmultiplexer? Dmultiplexer can be used in communication system. In the communication system, we are sending one message from sender to receiver. Okay. From sender to receiver, we are sending one message. Okay. How the message can be passed from sender to receiver, that can be known by using communication system. In the communication system, at the sender side, we have to use multiplexer and at the receiver side, we have to use demultiplexer so that demultiplexer can be used in communication system. Okay. Next one. D, by using demultiplexer, we have to perform automatic operations and logical operations. Okay. So, full adder can be implemented by using demultiplexer. Okay. Half adder can be implemented by using demultiplexer. Okay, we are performing both automatic and logical operations by using demultiplexer. Next one, serial to parallel converter. Suppose serial data can be converted into parallel data. In that case also demultiplexer can be used. So in these three applications, demultiplexer is used. First one is communication system. Second one is uh, automatic logic circuit and third one is serial to parallel converter. Okay, so this is the block diagram of demultiplexer and definition and important points of demultiplexer. How can you say that multiplexer performs the reverse operation of demultiplexer? How can you say that demultiplexer performs the reverse operation of the multiplexer? And what are the applications of demultiplexer? That are the points we have to discuss already in this video. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please 
put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts please if you really understand this video please like this video and forward this video to your friends and classmates don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel divela srinivasa rao thank you thank you one and all for watching this video